Hey guys, so today we're out at Cathedral Ranges. Um, it's kind of between like Marysville and Alexandra, kind of near Eildon. It's actually not that far from Melbourne, I don't think. No, but a couple of hours from Melbourne. Yeah. yeah. So we've actually been here before and we've done the Southern Circuit, but today we're going to kind of combine the Southern and the Northern Circuit. So I'll show you a map and kind of explain it because we're kind of just making up our own hype, yeah. really. Like, <laughs> Make it into two days when it's really not. <laughs> yeah. There's a campsite up there though, like kind of... Yeah, like on top of the ridge, I guess. Uh, and last time we walked through, it looked really pretty. That's after you complete the southern circuit. Yeah. You come down into that. But it's kind of in the middle. It's kind of the midsection between the southern and the northern. So our plan is today to hike up the southern section, camp the night, and then do the northern tomorrow. It's pretty easy, though. Like, we're allowing maybe three yeah. to four hours each day. Like, it's going to be a relaxing day. Yeah. It's like 12.30 now. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like, we could literally do it all in a day if we wanted. Just yeah. do a big day trip, but... We just want to stay at that campsite because it looks really nice and... We can get away. Yeah. Looking forward to it. This is just a map that I downloaded off the Parks Victoria website of Cathedral Ranges. So basically there's a few campsites here that you can actually stay at. Uh, we've decided to park the car at Cook's Mill. We're going to walk, just walk along the road and get up to Sugarloaf Saddle. Last time we did this like <laughs> track through here to get up to Sugarloaf Saddle. And it was really hard, but we were also very unfit back then, so not sure if it would be as hard now, but... That was like death back then, <laughs> so we're not too sure whether we should try it again or not. Which I'm sure would be a lot easier now, but we also have packs, so we're like, oh, it's going to be quicker and probably just easier to go up the road. There's no view. Yeah. That's just pure bush, yeah. like dense bush. Nothing and exciting. pretty vertical. So we're going to walk out the road, which is about now. I've just written little notes everywhere. <laughs> and then we get to Sugarloaf Saddle. And there's actually two tracks you can go. So you can take the canyon track or the Wells Cave track. Last time we took the canyon track and there was massive, like, just steep rock faces, which was kind of terrifying. And we're not really too keen on doing that with the pack. So we're actually going to try Wells Cave. Um, we have read that you're not supposed to do that if you have backpacks because you kind of have to go through a narrow passage through the cave to get there. But we're like, our packs aren't that bigger like, than us. I'm sure we can just take them off and pass them through. We've done it in a Grampian, so yeah. it'll be right. I think we'll be fine, and if not, they're only 45 minutes each, so we could just turn back and do the other one if we have to. It's not that bad. Um, and then basically we follow the Razorback track for two hours, and we get to the farmyard campsite, which is the one up there that we're going to stay at. So literally, yeah, four hours max, I reckon, but we'll stop and take a lot of photos because the whole Razorback is, like, beautiful, like, rocky peaks along the way, and, like, yeah, great photo opportunities. So we'll set up camp there probably pretty early. We've got our hammock with us that we can set up up there and we've got some games and stuff we can play. So it'll be nice to just have a chill afternoon. And there's also a couple of peaks around here. So there's South Jawbone Peak and North Jawbone Peak. So one of them would be really good for sunrise because they also face the east, so that's perfect. It's probably sunset and sunrise at them. And then tomorrow, this is then the northern section. So we follow Ridge Track. I'm gonna go all the way up past the cathedral, North Cathedral Peak little cathedral <laughs> and then head down to Ned's Peak follow Ned's Gully track down down to Ned's Gully campground which you have to drive to and then we're gonna walk the Little River track back to Cook's Mill so yeah kind of made it up but it sounds pretty good and yeah pretty keen So we just got up to Sugarloaf Saddle. It's actually way harder than expected. <laughs> I think just because it's so hot. I mean, we're literally sweating, but it's what, like 25 degrees? <laughs> I've got prickles in me. <laughs> You're good? <laughs> so according to this sign, we've only got, well, we're starting at Sugarloaf Saddle and ending at the farmyard. So only three kilometers between them and we've already done four. So should, the rest should be pretty easy, I think. So this is the intersection where we've got two options, Wells Cave and the Canyon Track. Last time we did Canyon and this time we're going to do Wells Cave. Um, it does say Ascent Only and to come down via Canyon Track. No, we're not going back this way but I'm guessing it must be pretty steep if they don't want you coming down this way. So quick little story time, if I can talk while I'm puffing and heading up. But um, last time we were here at Sugarloaf Saddle, there was a lady down at the car park and she was waiting for an ambulance and she was like yelling up the mountain 
to someone up here. <laughs> We're like, what's happened? And there's this chick up here that's like snapped her ankle. And I mean snapped her ankle. <laughs> so we like raced up here. Um, just to like make sure she was okay and wait with her for the ambulance. And yeah, when I say snapped, like the bone was sticking out of her ankle. And she was like kind of off the side of the cliff a bit. And it was pretty cold. Like I think it was end of April. Um, and it was towards sunset, so it was getting rather cold. And yeah, all the SES and all that rocked up, Ambos. And like, there's no way they're gonna be able to get her down because this track's like pretty steep from the car park. And yeah, so they got here and they're like, no, nope. we need a chopper, called the chopper. So we kind of helped out for a little bit and then they're like, okay, the chopper's coming, you just have to go. So I back down and that was our first impression of Cathedral Ranges. <laughs> Alrighty, let the rock climbing begin. This is an arrow up there, going straight up. Cool, it's just a bit steep. This is so steep, this bit. Well, like, oh, this way will be easier because the Canyon Way has a really steep section. But <laughs> so far, you <laughs> this looks so much worse. <laughs> Literally, it's like, hmm, where to put your feet and hands? Hardest part's your feet. Yeah, because you kind of pull yourself up with your hands, but you've got to have a lot of strength and upper body. <laughs> have come off <laughs> just shove them through goes for quite a while too so this might take some time <laughs> how you going then matt mm -hmm. good I'm good good <laughs> Pl plenty of room easy as <laughs> last night we we're saying oh we'll pack our packs as heavy as we want it's only for one night <laughs> not thinking we'll have to lift it above our heads now we've got to like squeeze the packs through and like throw them we're like mm. lessons learnt that's alright, typical us. Typical us. Bit of fun, always up for a challenge. That's right. How are you going there, Matt? Pretty comfortable? Just fit? The pack is in two. <laughs> Packs are jammed. It's really stuck there, just like suspended just <laughs> between the two rocks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet, yed. <laughs> oh, just drag her through. Oh my god. Tell you oh what, my god. if these cut me and do bags survive. <laughs> We're gonna give them a five star rating. Beautiful. So we just made it through with our packs. Took a long time. Yeah, took friggin' ages. Probably wouldn't recommend with big overnight packs, but if you're up for a challenge like we are, it is possible. Just takes a long time. And your bag might end up a little bit possible. damaged. Be hard on the gear. <laughs> Day packs would be fine, but anyway, we did it. We survived. Still got a bit to go though. We're not we're not there yet. So we made it up to Sugarloaf Peak. Uh, that was kind of stressful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably wouldn't recommend with big backpacks. No. Even with probably. little, little <laughs> it, ones, it'd be hard enough. It does say on the website not to take backpacks, yeah. but you know, <laughs> test the boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> took us a lot longer because of it. It took ages. Um, but it was it was good. It was challenging, which These is nice. stressful parts, like after the cave, we thought that would kind of be it, but then there was a couple of sections where we literally had to take the packs off and like pass them up. We got stuck there for ages. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know how to do it. There was one bit for probably about 20 minutes. We had to end up climbing on the outside of like the cliff edge, which <laughs> wasn't wasn't ideal, but. <laughs> it was just too hard to like pass the packs up otherwise. So so yeah, we made it up to the top. It's absolutely beautiful. Perfect views. Yeah. It's always such nice views from up here. A really good viewpoint. And like even with, they're doing back burning today in this area. And like even with the smoke around, there's a little bit and you can smell it. 
it's still beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as clear, but I kind of love the haze. Like it. Yeah. It's like a fog nearly. Yeah. Just like sitting. Yeah. But yeah, we've got about two hours to the farmyard campground. So I probably get there about six o'clock. Yeah. Probably a little bit later than expected, but that's all right. And then tomorrow's pretty easy, so we don't have to get up super early or anything anyway. Probably will, but... Always later than expected. Yeah. <laughs> we should always allow extra. Even just for photos and stuff, though, like, it takes obviously more time, so... Alright, so we're not really sure, but we think we've got about half an hour according to this map, which is pretty handy. Didn't expect this to be up here, actually. Good morning from South Drawbone Peak. We uh, woke up pretty early. Well, we're kind of awake anyway. Yeah, restless night last yeah, night. Yeah, <laughs> didn't sleep very well. I don't know. Copped a little bit of rain. Yeah. It's kind of on and off all night, like just drizzling. Like it's only had like three mil. Yeah, it's just enough because it's gone all night. Everything's like just soaked. Just <laughs> spread out like over like eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're kind of awake and we're like, oh, I might as well go do South Jawbone Peak because it's only 15 minutes from the campground. So we left our tent and everything. Um, we're not really expecting a very good sunrise because of the clouds, but. But then we said that about the sunset last night, mm. and the sunset last night was awesome, amazing. And like it happened within like probably two minutes, mm. and it was gone. I was just there eating dinner, and we're like, damn. Regrets. <laughs> Should have come up and yeah. seen it. But anyway, so um, we're not risking it this morning. <laughs> and even if there was no sunrise, we wanted to do this peak anyway. So here we are. I actually downloaded an app which is supposed to predict whether there's a sunrise or sunset or not, and like it counts down and everything. So. So there's a 48% chance. We're <laughs> we'll determined. <see>. Yeah. <laughs> um, if not, it's a beautiful view anyway. It's really exposed, like Rocky Peak. But yeah, the campsite was really nice last night. Actually quite busy. Like there was probably, mm. what, eight other tents or so? Yeah. A lot more people than we thought would be mm. around. We thought it'd be dead empty, to be honest. <laughs> it is Saturday night though, so yeah. Um, I think a lot of people opt to camp up here rather than down at the main campground as well. Because there's a fair few people who are just like must be starting the walk today. So. Yeah, come up late. Yeah. But there's no water up here or anything, so yeah, you gotta carry everything. So bring plenty of water. Yeah. So we're heading along the Northern Circuit up to Little Cathedral. Got a little bit of a view, it's still very cloudy, but still very nice it's only like nine o'clock uh, the rain's still like on and off and the rocks are like quite wet so it's pretty slippery so we're just taking it slow but at least temperatures are a lot cooler than yesterday so we're heading to the cathedral north cathedral and then little cathedral and then back down to ned's saddle So we just came up and over the ridge over Cathedral Peak and North Cathedral. Uh, it was pretty good, like really good views, but in saying that still a lot of sections were kind of covered by like the tree like canopy. So I still think the Southern section is probably the best, but we've just come to this intersection. It's 20 minutes that way to uh, Little Cathedral, but it doesn't look very impressive and still like heaps of trees covering it, not as exposed as the Southern section. So I think we're gonna give it a miss. The rain's kind of getting pretty heavy. Uh, so we're gonna Head back down to Ned's Saddle and then down to Ned's campground. Ned's Gully, is it? I think Ned's Gully. And then we have another half an hour walk back along the uh, river. So, yeah, hopefully the rain doesn't get too bad. <laughs> Alright, so we've got one more hour down to Ned's Gully. We're gonna skip also Ned's Peak. Bit exhausted, it is so freaking humid because it's raining and like, it's not, it's not hot, but it's like 20, what, probably 25, 26. It's real sticky. So it's so humid and we just feel gross and hot and... And looking at Ned's Peak, it was sort of like um, Little Cathedral, like it's yeah. not that spectacular. Like and it's like, all real dense up there. Compared to what we've done, which is like majority of the best places, like 
it can't really top that anyways but Matt fell I'll show you his hand now you might not be able to see it but he just slipped and then there's been these prickly bushes and there's not even any here for me to show you I should have got a clip up there but just these little prickly bushes and the whole thing is just literal sparks coming out of it and like this is a narrow path and they're all just like covering the track anyway so he slipped I chose the good ones yeah. not to fall and then fell and put his arm down like into one of those bushes and got bloody we call them splinters everywhere <laughs> So you probably can't even see them now, but we just picked out like, I don't know, probably 50, <laughs> quite a lot. And now these, all these ones in here are like stuck under the skin that we can't get out without like tweezers. <laughs> Unlucky. We made it back, finally. We're exhausted, as you can probably tell. <laughs> bit humid, bit hot. Yeah, so hot. Wet. <laughs> yeah. But no, it was really good. Glad we did it. I think we just underestimated, I don't know, probably the incline and just how long it takes to get over like the rocky bits because it's not just like a flat path so yeah so it just takes a bit longer than you yeah do, especially with a pack on yeah that slows down a little bit but yeah i would highly recommend probably especially the southern circuit i feel like that's probably the better one and sugar peak yeah yeah. yeah yeah that's the major go-to like that's yeah. the draw card for here and it was way more popular as well like that car park was packed and like lots of people on the trail going up then so we only saw one group today yeah. <laughs> coming yeah. the opposite way so yeah but yeah, it was good. Glad we did it. And we're off to Marysville. Yeah, let's do it.